hello welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how you can make your own blending video for phonics now if you haven't seen any of my finished videos you can just go ahead and click on YouTube and you'll see what it looks like after it's edited and I add music but it's really not that hard to make so really quickly I'll show you basically what it looks like before I add the music I just project each sound to the student so I'll start with sound mm, sound Ah, sound, t, blend, not. All right, and that's really all it is. So I've gotten a lot of questions about how I make these videos. So there's two key things that you'll need for these videos. One of the first things you'll need is you'll need to just decide on what software you want to record your screen. So there's a lot of softwares out there that you can use that will record your screen and yourself as you are talking about it. And so the one that I've gone with is Screen-O-Matic. Now there's nothing really special about it. It was just one of the first ones that I found and I learned to use that one first. Uh, I did uh, buy the premium account, so it's $20 a year and it was worth it for me because I'm buying, I'm making a lot of videos with it. It doesn't give me a time limit so I can make them as long as I need to. And then the piece that I really enjoyed was I can just go ahead and add music to my videos when I'm done. And I really think that is kind of a game changer with my phonics videos. And it's just really simple. I don't have to do all this technical editing. I can just add the music and then it adjusts um, the sound by itself. So when I'm talking, it lowers the music and when I'm not talking, the music gets higher. So that was just why I chose Screenomatic, uh, but there's a lot of other ones that you can choose. So then the second piece that you'll need is very simple to make these videos. Um, really, it is just PowerPoint. I am only going through a PowerPoint in these videos and I'm just clicking through it at my own pace. So if you'll see, you can see here that each slide is basically just one sound and then the two sounds, the next slide is the third and then all three together. And that is how it keeps going. And so what ends up happening is when I project it, I am literally clicking on my mouse here. I'm clicking through each one as I want. And it's just that simple. Now the hardest part probably is gonna be creating all these PowerPoints that you want. Fortunately, a teacher in my district created the PowerPoints for us, so I just go ahead and use them. I can do another video showing you how to create these PowerPoints, and really once you just create one, then you can just go back and swap out your sounds. Um, and that's basically it. And so then after what I do is I just save it, and then I go into the um, editing tool, and I just add a fun little song that I've chosen. So the screen matic will give you um, canned songs that you can choose from. I found another song on another website that I liked and I just downloaded it and put it into mine to kind of give me that feel that I was looking for. So that's basically it. Just screen omatic or some sort of screen recording software and a PowerPoint. And just a few other tips that I would um, give you is when I make these videos, I think what sets my videos apart is that I make them very engaging. So when I'm making them, I am pretending that the student is right there in front of me and that I'm hearing them say all the things back to me that I want them to. So I do give them the time to say the sound. So if I am asking for the sound, I'm giving them a lot of hand signals that I teach them. This means I want to hear you say it. This means you're not saying it right now. So I teach them those things in the beginning so they can understand how to interact with the video. But then I do tell them I wait for the sound. I think that's the biggest thing is just to realize you're not just talking to a computer, but you're engaging with a student. So do give them that time. I usually give them about three seconds. I'll point to the sound and good. And then I give them the sound just in case they got it wrong. I'm not there to under see what's going on. So I do always give them the correct sound and the correct word, but I give them the chance first and it might feel a little bit awkward, but just wait about three seconds. Good, mmm. Good, ah, and I think that's just what makes it a great video. So those are my little tips. Make sure that you're making it engaging. You're not just talking to them. And um, go ahead and make a PowerPoint and find a screen of recording software, and that's it. 
All right, so happy teaching and I hope you guys have a great time.